द बिग बुक ऑफ बीस्ट बाय यूवल जोमर beautiful book with all the footprints of every wild beast so words and pictures by yuval zomer and more information is provided by beast expert barbara index author tells mostly about the beast family what is beast a simple intro what are the animals and what is covered inside this book armadillo sloth carnivorous bats so this is the defense power provided to beast by nature teeth nails and claws and jaws and what the speciality so you can see every animals unique feature is shown in this picture this is about the howls and growls the smell how the lion roars and about the porcupines tantrum the smell of the slime by the beaver and how the armadillo screams so from this uh, armadillo author explains about a single beast in two pages and you can see this habitat is how the armadillo like where the armadillo lives so you can see it says south american savanna so armadillo lives in south american savanna, savanna region all the unique features about the armadillo the tongue the beautiful tummy and how it digs burrow and lives inside the burrow this is about the fox how much clever it is and how it pounces to the prey the smallest sounds and how the group of foxes are called and where it lives so this is like north american forest then it is about the baboons where it lives how baboon and human are connected together and how it makes friends and where it is like mostly found african savanna region and if you see notice all the animals and the plants in this picture in this page are like the wild plants and everything which grows in the african savanna region next is about the bats tells about how the bat lights are really are the bats are really blind and how they live upside down how they are active more in the dusk how they hang around how the mothers meet and this is about the sloth how much lazy is it and how it lives inside the rainforest notice all the butterflies and panther which lives mostly in the rainforest and how sloth can turn green so it's, it's so much beautiful the entire book so this is about the tigers how much stripy it is where it lives how much water it likes the biggest cat in the world it has self healing power if you can notice and how it carries cubs and a tiger can be as much as 10 10 year of humans so you can see like it weighs like 10 kids we can't hold 10 kids so it's about the wolf how it lives in the canadian woodlands how it glows in dark how how what are the leaders of the pack mainly like the female and the oldest male are in charge of the pack and you can see wolf can make 17 different facial expressions of the baby blue eyes are there this is about the brown bears how it loves winter and how it lives in the alpine the lover of honey how it eats the salmon this is about the weasel 
how much crafty it is, where it lives, the forest floor, how it dances. You can see the jumping weasel's term. So this is about the weasel. The lion, the king of the forest, the loudest roar, how they depend on the friends. He is lazy. Lion is like lazy creature. So how it lives in the south sub-Sahara grassland. Not just for looks. So the thick hair by the male and the ladies by the hunt. So you can see the fight. The deer and the bull fight which happens in the sub-Sahara grassland. This is about the Tasmanian devils. Where it lives. Tasmanian scrub. What kind of years? It's special features. It's powerful jaws. And it's babies how they are called us. This is about hyena. Do they really laugh? How they have like they live in African grassland. This full setup is like an African grassland setup. So this is how the females are in charge and aggressive. And this is about Bitorongos, I think I have pronounced it right. So it is a cat or a bear, where it lives and how it loves the green color. So it it is it is like carnivores, but they live in plant. It seems it is it's it's told as carnivores, but lives in plant. How it rotates its ankle, and this is about the beaver. How it chomps through the trees. Uh, bustling along river back in North America. It has a multi-purpose trail. Beaver has like an orange color teeth. This is about cheetah. How much speed it runs, where it lives, sub-Sahara grassland. Cheetah, yeah, the biggest. This book is like huge. You can see we have covered just the 40 pages. So cheetah looks like crying. And how it keeps up the cub. So such a beautiful uh, book actually. So you can see like so much impressive. It has like so much data inside it. This is about like the honey badgers. How they do are like partners in crime. Where it lives. Jungle. Then it is about the war hogs. It's tusky tusks. Piglets. This is about the porcupine. How the newborns and it doesn't go bald. This is porcupine's home and how it lives in the Canadian forest floor. This is about the hippopotamus. How it loves mud. How it goes angry. Where it lives. How the flying poop and its closest relatives are dolphins. This is about the footprints of every other animal. So we can make like play high, high spy activities with kids. In order to find which footprint is which animals this is about the old ice age beast woodly mammals it's about like we have to save the creatures because like this age most of the animals are getting poached for skin or like elephants are poached for tusk so you have to safeguard this these animals so it lives for like generations to come and where the beasts are living in the street so what happens how you have to react when you see an animal in the city raccoons and baboons and this is more about the footprints which author has discussed in the front page he says about like can you find the footprints so if you notice here can you find the footprints so this is what is like discussed in the last page so he highlights which footprint is like where so every page you can see like this is bare footprint so author has highlighted for kids so this is buttons and is beastly words so how you talk of the beast expert what you can expert what you can look more why do wolves howl at the moon why hyla really laugh 
So every beautiful stuff you can find in this book.